My name is Omi Dariani. I'm the Senior Brand Manager for the EverQuest franchise. Welcome to the Roundtable. With me today is Senior Producer Terry Michaels. Hello, everybody. Today, we are talking about day and night. And mm -hmm. should there be danger in the world? Should the world change based on day-night cycles? Right. And I think people, and first of all, we should say this question came directly from Reddit. Mm -hmm. And we're really thankful for that. Like, it's really cool to see that discussion because we've been talking about it too. Mm -hmm. uh, and people significantly, we have a majority, <laughs> you can say that for <laughs> once. It's not a plurality, it's a majority would like the world to be dangerous at night, significantly more dangerous. Right. Well, I mean, who wouldn't, right? I mean, we think of uh, the real world, uh, you know, how we, how we go about life, or we did when we were, you know, cavemen or whatever the case would be. Nighttime was more dangerous. It's something that's ingrained in us. We, we consider night to be dangerous. We think about all the noises we hear. It makes us jump and all those kinds of things. So why wouldn't we want that in a game, too? Yeah, I mean, one of the things that I always think about, right, is night isn't actually more dangerous than day. It's that you have less information, right? Right. It's harder to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. You don't know where things are, and that's what actually makes it more complicated. Exactly. And I mean, EQ was a great example of that. Uh, you know, nighttime, if you were, especially if you were a human or somebody who didn't have infravision or ultravision, you know, uh, going out in the world at nighttime was crazy dangerous. The same bears were there. You just couldn't see them, so you'd walk up to them without realizing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. A common problem. Yes. Well, well not, not in San Diego, maybe, <laughs> but... Uh, so... How, how are we doing this for EverQuest Next? What is our thinking here? Well, I mean, we've talked about the fact that in EverQuest Next, we want the world to be alive. We want it to be as much a virtual real world as possible. And just like the real world, there are going to be monsters and creatures that have different cycles and habits. So there will be creatures that only come out at night. You know, there will be people who only go about their nefarious business at night. Uh, so by definition, there will be different uh, dangers and things, uh, but we're probably not going to go down the path of EQ with that pitch dark, can't see anything, mm -hmm. uh, because we want people to be able to still function and play the game. And so, because of the AI system in Next, we should see characters actually react differently day and night, right? Oh yeah, it's it's absolutely one of the things that we can take into account with the uh, with the, the the world is far more rich place for the AI to, to take notice of and pay attention to the details of. And day night is just one of those components. Yeah. But it's definitely one of the components that we want to use. Yeah. More people in Denny's, right? Yep. Yeah. Well uh, if we have a Denny's <laughs> in next. <laughs> yeah, so I mean I think that that really gets to the core of this, right? We're not we're, are we looking at making the world more dangerous, like adding you know, additional monsters at night? Or is it more that everything just changes its behavior the way? It, it will be different at night, without mm -hmm. a doubt. Uh, some areas will be more dangerous at night than, than others. Uh, some may be safer, because maybe the dangerous things in that area only come out during the daytime. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to go both ways, um, and it'll depend on what part of the world you're in. Excellent. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for your opinions and thoughts. Uh, it was cool to see a very clear uh, preference here, and I think it's okay. something that our world is going to do really well. So thanks again. We'll see you next week on the Roundtable. Thanks, guys.